Hello everyone, I am Mr. Halo Hunter 24 and today we are going to be reviewing Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Uh, now the footage I am using for this review is from Season 1, the game is currently on Season 3, uh, so I'm a little behind on getting this out. Uh, now this game was released back in August of 2020, it's a battle royale game of sorts, and it's based on game shows like Total Wipeout and those kind of game shows. Um, where people compete, they race to the end, they get through obstacles, and so on. Uh, now, this game, I think if it hadn't been released during the COVID-19 pandemic, it wouldn't have been as successful as it was. Um, but because of its nature and the time it was released, it has been very successful. It has gotten a lot of praise from critics and gamers, and pretty much everybody seems to have enjoyed it. Um, in my own opinion, <laughs> it's one of those feel-good games. You know, you're having a bad day, you go and play this. Just to, It's a lot of nonsense. Uh, just good old-fashioned fun from games. It almost seems like it's from a different time in gaming before it was truly competitive. Like, you know, you're just here for fun. Um, so a lot of what we see in here, um, a lot of it's racing. There's a few different things that go on with it. Um, and um, you, you get to select your character. You can choose the pattern, the color, and then, of course, as you progress their costumes, um, a lot of it is... Um, there, now, a lot of the special things, there's microtransactions in, of course, most games have those these days. Um, so a lot of it is that, but um, a lot of the things you can actually get by progressing, so um, you don't necessarily need the microtransactions, they're there if you want to buy things ahead of time. Um, and you can even earn the in-game currency as you level up, so you don't even have to buy it, you just have to play it a lot, which I think is pretty good. <clears throat> um, so one of the things I enjoy about this, though, is... Um, I, I'll come home from work on a Friday, uh, it'll be a long day, and I'll come and play this for just to de-stress, and that's not really always the case with it, unfortunately, because uh, I'm a bit of a competitive gamer at times, um, so <laughs> you get frustrated when you don't make it to the end of the match. Um, so as you go, as you go through um, the levels, usually there's four or five levels depending on how many people will qualify. Um, you will advance to each one, and then when you get to the final round, it's usually about 10 to 12-ish, somewhere in that range, sometimes even 8. Um, and there's only one winner, only one person wins um, the match. But um, at each level that you go, you get more experience, more points, and um, as it goes, you level up. I've never actually won a game, I've always get, gotten to the um, last or second to last mission. Um, so you get to get that far, but it really, it's really satisfying to sort of play it um, if you're having a bad day. It, it, it's just one of those games that um, you have fun with. Um, it, you don't really have to think too much with it. Yeah, of course, you need to kind of strategize with it with certain maps like this one that we're looking at now, um, where parts are rolling back and forth and there's open holes and people <laughs> try and push you off. Um, but really, the community, it's really good. Um, a lot of people enjoy playing it that I've seen. Um, it's currently only available at this time um, on Windows and on the PlayStation 4. It might be on the PS5. I'm not sure. I haven't checked to see. Um, as it stands right now, they have no plans to release it on the Nintendo Switch or the Xbox. Um, at least as far as I'm aware. Certainly, I would like it on the Switch. I'm a big Switch gamer. Um, this is one of those games that to play on the go would actually be really fun to take it with you know, you're in a friend's house or something, you don't feel like dragging your laptop with you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what it's at. Um, so you see, you level up, of course, there's different things on the menu, um, things you can buy. Um, you have your in-game currency and then you have the crowns, which you, uh, you get as you go on. Um, now, you can't name your character as it stands right now, unfortunately. They did change that since Season 1. You, They give you, like, a random generalized name um, before it was just Fall Guy, and then usually I think it was four numbers. Um, so that's where we're at, though, with it. Um, I really I highly recommend getting it. It's good fun. Um, if you have friends that you can play with, it's great. If you don't, that's okay, too. Um, you're usually in a lobby with about 60 people. Thankfully, it usually doesn't need a full lobby like some games to start. They'll start off with a um, certain number because you're not like on any team except on certain maps. Um, but that's okay. And you can change me menu options and all these different things. Um, so it's certainly enjoyable. Um, I, I highly recommend picking it up. Um, so I really have nothing else to say on it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mr. Halo Hunter 24, signing off.